General Atomics has released a new video of testing of its Mojave drone aboard the UK Royal Navy's aircraft carrier HMS Prince of Wales back in November. In cooperation with the Royal Navy, General Atomics tested Mojave on board Prince of Wales on November 15 as the ship sailed off the coast of Virginia. Mojave is derived from the MQ-1C Grey Eagle, a remotely piloted vehicle that traces its routes to the Q-1 Predator. It's also the cousin of the larger, turboprop-powered MQ-9 Reaper. General Atomics was first revealed in late 2021 and is stole and rough field capable, making it ideal for various distributed and expeditionary operations, including those from aircraft carriers as well as from remote and austere locales ashore. You can read more about it and its capabilities here and here. In the footage, we see Mojave being raised from the Prince of Wales hangar to its flight deck via an elevator. From there, it is maneuvered into position towards the rear of the vessel's flight deck prior to takeoff. Propelling down the flight deck, the drone smoothly lifts into the air at around the 600-foot mark for context, the Prince of Wales flight deck runs some 901 foot long. In its lightest configuration with a more limited payload package focused on intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, missions, the drone is able to get airborne in as little as 300 to 400 feet. Additional weight added from extra fuel, sensors, or missiles increases said distance. While the entirety of Mojave's takeoff isn't depicted in the footage, the drone does not use the ship's ski jump ramp. In total, General Atomics suggests Mojave is capable of flying for 25 hours or more, however, this would require more fuel, adding weight to the drone. As we've noted previously, Mojave could have an endurance of between 10 and 12 hours when launched off a carrier-sized landing area with no weapons, allowing it to perform everything from persistent armed overwatch for force protection missions in brown water environments to airborne communications relay and surveillance functions in blue water environments. After circling the carrier, it then begins a slow approach for landing. From the video, it appears as if it lands full stop at around the 400-foot mark on the flight deck, with plenty of deck length left. 